Okay, uh, hello, uh, I'm Paris. Uh, I'm the author of FIPA.js, an open source module for ExpressJS, uh, and I'm from Indonesia. Okay, so a little bit about me. Uh, I've been working in startup for the last five years, and I'm also always uh, using Node.js. And then currently I'm working as a full stack polyglot at Carworks, uh, the next generation of vending machine. And then I also have been a speaker at Google DevFest Jakarta uh, 2017, uh, developer expert at DevTalk by Tahinese Jakarta 2015. I'm also a foodie and amateur for food photographer. Okay, so uh, I will talk about code a little bit. Okay, so uh, when the first time I was using Node.js and then they want to build a uh, web applications and then they are using Express. There's uh, uh, some some uh, a bit unclean code actually for using middleware. So that's why there's a lot of uh, this kind of things middleware. So if uh, if there's a request uh, going to this endpoint and then it will go and go and just imagine if there's a uh, thousand of middleware inside it. So that's why I decided to build uh, PipaJS. Pipa itself is from Bazin Indonesia, which means pipe. Uh, the advantages that we will get is uh, super readable code flow, clean, easy to use, and we are using uh, JSON and CoffeeScript as its configuration file. Okay, uh, let me show you the step by step uh, <coughs> uh, using PipaJS. First of all, as usual, if you want to use ExpressJS, uh, just install npm install ExpressJS and then pipa.js itself, uh, create a directory for your middleware folder, let's call it the middleware right here, and then uh, create another folder for root, which we call uh, root now, and then now we uh, create the main application code. Okay, so, so there's uh, the main application code. First, we require the express.js, and then we initialize the express.js, and then we require the pipa, and then just uh, initialize the pipa just by uh, three parameters. First, the ExpressJS app, and then the root and the middleware. And then, then open it and listen it to a port 3000. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is create your middleware uh, code. Okay, so this will be the uh, folder structure, middleware and the root that we have uh, uh, created earlier. We have a function called say hi, right? This is our middleware. Okay, so I want that function to be called when I'm accessing the API version 1 and greetings. The thing that you need to do is only create the API folder and then the version 1 folder and then the root uh, files. So this will be the, the structure. API, uh, v1, and then the greeting.json. Okay, uh, for the root greeting.json, I will be using a method get and then it will call the say hi function from index file. This one the index file and then just call the function. And once you call it, you will have uh, something responding like hi one people at potential thousand and sustain. Okay, uh, how about if I want to ensure first uh, if uh, the request need to check whether there's access token or anything else. Okay, so we just create another things. Uh, let's call it the check name. So if the user uh, not provided the name, the inquiry parameter, it will send a please enter a name, but if uh, it is provided, then just go to the next uh, middleware. Okay, so this for example, and then this is your example when you provide the name uh, ice, for example. Okay, a lot of things that you can use uh, to build a web application using the uh, PyJS as a model for the PyJS. It will make easier for the next developer when they just come into the uh, code and then they do. We don't have any documentation, they just can read the, the flow of the, uh, I mean like uh, the, the configuration file of the router. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, just drop me an email. And then follow me on GitHub, uh, Instagram. Let's go. Okay, I think that's all. That was awesome. <laughs>